Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to finish up Stormvale Castle. But before we do... Let's go ahead and talk about some of the things I did off camera, like always. First things first, I changed out the Spirit Summon. I, I put on Banished Knight Ingville. I also put on some Blood Grease. And I kept the Cerulean Flask of Tears. I also put on some Poison Bone Arrows. We'll need those in just a bit. Right here, I already killed the birds. If you rested at the grace, you're going to have to re-kill them. I'm just going to come down over here, grab ourselves an item. Let's put on our lantern here. If we hop down right here, we pick up ourselves some Kirki. Hop down right here. And then Sorcerer Rogier. Let's talk to him. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But... Unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still, I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the Lands Between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished, once guided by Grace, I'd love to help you out, if it please. We're gonna go ahead and buy all his Ashes of War. Then we'll talk to him one more time. The battle art you've learned is of the Glintstone family. They were conceived at the Great Academy of Rhea Lucaria, to the north of this castle. In the past, they obeyed laws which contravened the Golden Order, or so I'm told. Fascinating, isn't it? That the Golden Order was pliable enough to absorb practices that contradicted itself in the past. With the Order broken, twisted, and in need of repair, such adaptability is more important now than ever. We'll let him be. We'll be talking to him again at the round table hold. That will not be in this episode. Take these guys out. We're going to switch to our bow real fast. I'm going to take out the torch guy. Maybe. Okay, well, we're going to take out the Banished Knight. We'll drink a flask real quick. That did not go as planned.
pick up a golden rune too. Take this guy out right here. We're going to be hopping over this wall in just a moment. First, we want to step in here. Take out the Banished Knight. We're going to open up this chest. This is going to be the Mimic Veil. Or Mimic's Veil. Backtrack out here. Hop over this wall. The guy must have hurt us. They do have a chance to drop their torch pole. Just in case anybody was wondering. Right over there is where we killed that banished knight. We're going to hop off down here. Completely missed that guy. Because I'm trashed here. This room is crazy looking. There's a bunch of arms tied up and on hooks and stuff. I don't know if I can, I don't think I can. It's okay. We'll come back over and around and kill that guy. Um, real quick, this is the room where we killed that Banished Knight. Oh my goodness, can you not? Thank you. Where we killed that Banished Knight and got the Mimic Veil. Godric the Grafted has been taking Tarnished Arms and grafting them to his body. That's why you see all the arms on hooks and tied up. Oh, you're going to come to me? All right. We're going to shoot him with some poison arrows. That'll make this boss, or well, he's not a boss. <laughs> It'll make this grafted scion a little easier. You could stand up here and just continue to shoot him with arrows. He'll block a few times. Or you could just come down here and kill him out right get some exalted flesh that guy was just sitting there I didn't even see him I'm gonna pick up this item right here next to the painting of Godfrey pretty awesome painting Take those two dogs out. And then right here is the Chrysalid's Memento. We're going to be using that for Roderica later on. Right here is the elevator I was talking about in the last video that we were going to send up for a shortcut. Come through this door. Grab ourselves a sombering smithing stone too. Use the stone sword key to unlock this fog wall or door or whatever it is. Take out the two exiled soldiers. Get the misery cord. 
the hot crest wooden shield and then right here we get the iron wet blade that will allow us to change out our affinity on our weapons so if we have a quality um, weapon we can change it out to a strength or a dex based weapon whichever one you don't have to rely on the ashes of war to be a quality or strength or dex to change out your weapons affinity you can now do that just by using the iron wet blade go through this doorway here take out the servant run along the walkway get ourselves some arrows over here is a huge courtyard with a bunch of enemies we're not gonna fight the enemies just yet we're actually gonna run along here down the stairwell don't even worry about those enemies if they chase you that's okay they'll backtrack take out the four rats get the fireproof dried liver use another stone sword key this is going to open up the area I was talking about in the last video that we couldn't get through because of the fog door Grab a God Slayer seal and the Godskin prayer book. We're going to be summoning Banished Knight Ingvil, so let's drink a Cerulean flask. Summon him in. I like to come over this way, take these two guys out first. Come upstairs. Ingville will be just fine. Grab some fire arrows. Or maybe Ingville won't be fine. He's getting his butt kicked. Holy moly. Yeah. Okay, usually it goes a little bit better. I guess everybody ganged up on Ingville. They knew how awesome he was. They were like, nah, not a chance, bud. Not a chance. Making sure there's no more enemies right over there. We'll come back and loot everything first. Let's get through all this. Grab the cure key down here. And then we can loot. Smoldering Butterflies, Golden Rune 2, Golden Rune 1, Magic Grease, and the Pike. Go up here. We're going to sneak up behind this guy, if we can. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to. There's a dog right there. He can kill his own dog, thankfully.
Right here we have a statue we're going to have to break open. We'll do that in just a moment. First we're going to grab this painting. This is the prophecy painting. Come up top here. Grab a fur calling finger remedy. Activate the summoning pool. Get two smithing stone ones. And then we're going to light this grace. That door is locked right now. We also have an elevator shaft. We're going to be sending the elevator down shortly. First, we got to kill these annoying hawks, which we switch over to some fire arrows. See if we can't make this a little easier on us. Not at all. Not at all. I thought for a second, maybe, just maybe. be a little easier but the fire barrels were too far away we're gonna hug this wall so that we don't draw the attention of the second hawk that we're gonna have to kill in just a moment got a guy just chilling out right here get a smithing stone too Pull out our bow. See if he'll get caught up. There we go. Got another Warhawk's Talon. F3, I believe, at this point. I haven't really checked my inventory lately. Get a Golden Rune too. And then we're going to meet Nefeli Lu. Be proud. You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you to a higher pl Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain Father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. We'll be summoning her in once we kill, well, not once we kill Godric, but once we go to fight Godric. Grab a golden seed. Now we can get another flask, which we will be doing in just a moment. Grab some more smithing stone too. We're going to shoot this guy. Try not to draw the attention of the troll just yet. We'll be using him to break that. Um, break the statue. <laughs> the glowing statue. I know what I'm talking about, I promise. I would just lure him out. Just be careful. Don't want to get hit by him, obviously. He's a troll. He does some big boy damage. You don't want to get too far away from him because then he'll do that breath attack where he spits wind at you. And that's not what we're trying to do.
Here's that statue we want him to break. Oops. Now we'll get five smithing stone ones and another smithing stone two. We're going to backtrack over to where the troll was and those two enemies. We can see the boss room just over there. We're not going in there just yet. We're actually going to light this grace. We're going to sit at the grace. Add a charge to our flask. Reallocate our flask over to seven of the crimson. And then down over there, you can see a silver scarab. We're going to take that out and then activate the summoning pool to the right of us. Try to lead it into the wall. Makes it easier to kill it. Get the Ash of War Stormcaller. Activate the summoning pool. careful we get this big boy right here I like to call him the Kool-Aid man because he spins and he'll knock you down these smaller warrior jars are not really a threat they're more of a distraction, if anything. Pick up two cracked pots. And then right here, the big warrior jar dropped us a living jar shard and raw meat dumpling. It always drops that. If we come through this doorway right here, there's the elevator that I was talking about earlier. Let's go ahead and send it down. That way we activate a shortcut if we need it. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab an item and we're going to hop on some ledges. So hop on that ledge. And then we want to kind of hit this at an angle. Get on this ledge. Over there is a Stormhawk and a Banished Knight. If you want to kill them, you can. They don't drop anything or there's no special item over there. I suppose they can drop stuff because every enemy has a chance to drop something. But nothing special. Come over here. Grab three Smithing Stone 2s. Good stuff. We'll be able to level up our longbow here shortly another smithing stone one golden rune two go through this doorway take out these servants those guys out too. Get the withered straight sword so they have a chance to drop that. Not really the best weapon. Maybe you're trying to do a challenge run where you go the whole game with just a withered sword for some reason. I don't know. Get the manor tower shield. Right here we get a developer message. 
from Rogier says, surely what you seek is somewhere close by. Get a smithing stone three. Hop down this area. What I like to do is hop onto this wall. Be very careful not to fall off. Pick up a golden rune five. And then over there, we can see the Chapel of Anticipation. That's where we originally started the game. Good stuff. We can also see Liernia over there as well. We'll be going over there in a few episodes. Pick up some rainbow stones. And then the locked door from earlier, we're going to open up. That sends us over here to this grace and the elevator that we sent down just a, mil just a moment ago. We can hop down right here, hop across, hop across again, pull out our bow because we're going to have a bat. Grab ourselves an arteria leaf. We have another bat. Then one more right there. You can head down that way if you'd like. But if we come over here, we can hop across and get ourselves two smithing stones. Hop down. Get a golden rune too. We're gonna have three rats to kill. Be careful not to get too far over there. There's a big rat boy hiding just off into the distance. He's going to jump at us. He's too fat to get too far. Drops us a golden rune three. Grab up some poison bloom. Be sure to get this scarab here gonna give us the Rancor call. I think that's how that's pronounced. And then right here we're gonna drink our wondrous flask of physic and then put some blood grease on our bloodhound's fang and take off that cerulean flask because I just noticed I did not take that off. Come over here to the first item. We're gonna get this to pop out at us. Be very careful. This mini boss can feel a little difficult because it's just so erratic. Get a critical on it. Ooh. Ow. Oh my god. Not what I wanted to do. I was trying to heal. Whatever. We'll put more blood grease on. There you go. Very erratic boss can be very intimidating and scary. We're going to get ourselves a golden seed. And also some 
Smoldering Butterflies, Stone Sword Key, and some Throwing Daggers. get the Prince of Death's Pustule. Right here we have a developer Bloodstain. It's Rogier. We got pretty messed up. Which I'm assuming that he got messed up by this creature here. Big Cthulhu looking creature. All its tentacles and stuff. Right here you can climb that ladder if you like. It's not going to lead to an item so you might as well just go to the map and head over to the secluded cell i'll see everybody over there in just a moment right here we can see nefeli lu's summoning sign let's summon her in once she summons in, I'm going to put on my Wondrous Flask of Physic, buff my weapon with some Blood Grease, and then switch over to Banished Ingville and see everybody after the cutscene. Let's do all that now. Mighty dragon, thou'rt a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Well. Lowly tarnished. Playing as a lord. I command thee, kneel! I am the lord of all that is golden. Let's summon in Ingville. Switch over to our Crimson Flask this time. Back up. Just keep hitting him as much as you can before he cuts his arm off. Run as close as you can to him before that fire gets too close to you. We'll put on some more blood grease. Why not? 
Ingvil got messed up. I am the Lord of all that is golden. And one day, we'll return together to our home, bathed in rays of gold. <sighs> we get the Godric's Great Ruin, along with the Remembrance of the Grafted. Let's light this grace. We'll sit down at it. And that will spawn in the guy that would have stole our runes if we died, along with open up the main gate if we asked him to earlier into the um uh the start of Stormvale Castle. What a pathetic excuse for a lord you were. <laughs> Craven to the bone. Pushing me about like that, and after all that grafting, where did that get you? Look down on me, would ya? Godric, you filthy slug. Feel it. Feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. Oh, hello there. This weasel was... Godric was always looking down on me. He got what he bloody deserved thanks to you. I tell you though, what goes around comes around. He had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? <laughs> We can purchase a variety of different things from him, including the bandit set and some silver pickled fowl foots that I can finally pronounce. <laughs> so if you're trying to farm up a certain weapon or armor, you can come to him and buy three of these silver pickled fowl foots. Let's go over to the grace and we'll end the video over here. All right, I think right here is a good spot to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.